In this shortcut tutorial, I will show you how to create a portrait video from a landscape video. I'll also show you how to recent or rather change the position of the video as well as create a simple pan effect using keyframes. I'm going to assume that you have some knowledge of working in um, shortcuts, otherwise this will be too long this tutorial in my opinion. If you're struggling, have a look at my YouTube page and in the playlists you should find a playlist for shortcut with quite a few tutorials in it. Okay, I'm going to just place a description up here. It's one of my pet hates of shortcuts, so I'm just going to put in some rubbish here. Something like that. Um, now, automatic. Um, where it says video mode, if you're new, you'll see it says something like automatic, or you'll probably have it set up as um, your sort of default. So, to change the aspect ratio you need to select next to video mode and what you're looking for is non-broadcast and if you come to the right of this you will find a couple of options vertical hd 30 frames a second and 60 frames a second and i assume you trying to create vertical video clips for things like youtube or tiktok so select hd 30 hd 30 frames per second fps and just let youtube or um whatever social media outlet you're using sort it out for you it won't make any difference the outcome really for it sort of uh, shorts and vertical video clips i should be using a 4k video which is at 25 frames a second so here we go let's select start and I tend to work in the edit mode. Got some options here. I don't like this FX mode much in um, Shortcut. So I'm going to work in edit mode and just drag the clip I'm going to use into the properties file and then drag it into the timeline. Now, if you've, you may not know this, if you just started in Shortcut, if the last um, project you did, you used keyframes, you need to make sure the timeline is selected. This is at the bottom here, and then drag your clip into the timeline. Okay. There's a couple of options for um, sorting this aspect ratio out. If you come over to filters and then press the select the plus sign here, There will be quite a few different um, filters you can use here, but I would just stick with the size, position, and rotate. So just select this one. Now, for some reason, these don't work on my computer, so I tend to use the, um, when I use a shortcut, which isn't that often, um, the zoom option here. So I will just, Drag this over till it fills the screen. Now, another thing you might find is whatever you do, make sure you um, make a note of the locations on X and Y. This one is um, X, this is Y. Um, it's just a means of making sure that, especially when I show you this sort of pan operation, that you stay in the middle. And I don't know why when you scale up, it, it changes the middle. So I'm going to just take this back to zero. And let's put this in the middle, because all I want to do is scan from left to right. So you can move this clip if you want by using this, this sort of center dot. So you can drag it to a position you might want to use or run your video from. And again, uh, I'll have to change this to center up again. 
and you can also use something called keyframes. Now, to the right of this video, some of the ducks jump out. Obviously, if I ran this now all the way through, in fact, I'll do that now. Let's kill the sound. You don't get to see this sort of the final part here at the end where they're jumping out. So I should have clipped this really at the end. It's a bit blurred. If I just go back to the beginning and you'll see a little clock here. If you select this, it will put a keyframe in. Anywhere along this line, every time you make a change, it will remember it. So you could have, you could animate this on the position, the size, the zoom. Um, but I'm just going to go to the end. And I'm going to just drag this along till I get to the end of the clip or either the right hand side of the clip. Make sure you don't come within. And again, I'll center this up here. And I should now have a video that pans. Now all you need to do is go ahead and export or render your video. Like I said at the beginning, I assume you have a little bit of knowledge, so I won't go into that. It's pretty straightforward and simple. Um, so hopefully that's helped someone. Thank you for watching. Cheers.